Hello, hello, hello. Today is January 13, 2021. Solutions to problem 101, the contracting sphere, the toy that I have at home. You may want to watch the problem again to see the toy and to see what happens when I pull the string. Let me first start with something different that many of you must be familiar with. A white dwarf has a radius of about 10,000 kilometers. The mass somewhere around one solar mass and the rotational period can vary between 10 and 60 hours. When the white dwarf accretes matter from a nearby companion that can happen when they are in a binary system, the mass of the white dwarf goes up, cannot get above 1.4 solar masses. Some of you who want to know more about that should Google Chandra's Sakar limit. The moment that the mass of the white dwarf becomes higher than 1.4 solar masses, it collapses into a neutron star. A neutron star typically has a radius of 10 kilometers. And the mass is about 1.4 solar mass, which is the Chandra Sekar limit. If we assume that the density of the white dwarf is the same everywhere, then the moment of inertia is 2 fifths mr squared. I put this row here to remind you that. It's only accurate if the density is the same everywhere. Now, if for simplicity we say, well, let M by dwarf be one solar mass and M neutron star also be one solar mass, then can, you can forget about the M. So as the collapse occurs, the moment of inertia of the neutron star is 10 to the minus 6 times the moment of inertia of the white dwarf. And this gravitational collapse is not an external torque. Therefore, angular momentum must be conserved. Therefore, I omega of the white dwarf must be the same as I omega of the neutron star. If we just pick a random number 20 hours for the white dwarf, then after the collapse, when it is a neutron star, the neutron star would rotate about its axis in about 70 milliseconds. A million times faster. An ex striking example in astronomy of the conservation of angular momentum. The fastest neutron star, by the way, is one and a half milliseconds, but that's irrelevant now. So let's now go back to my toy. Here is the large sphere. It can be approximated by a hollow sphere. Not a very good approximation, but very roughly it can be. Look again at the problem when I post it. The moment of inertia of a hollow sphere is two-thirds mr squared. I admit it's a crude approximation, but that's irrelevant, you will see. Now I pull with this string, and the radius of this sphere goes down. I pull on the string vertically down, that means there is no external torque. 
My pulling down is not a torque because I pull in the same direction as I pull the string. So that's the direction of the force. So there's no torque on the system. So I omega, I omega is conserved. Angular momentum must be conserved. Now, can we assume that this is a hollow sphere? That would be a very bad approximation because look at, again at my problem. It looks more like this. You know, all these little plastic pieces go into each other. So it really cannot be approximated very well by this moment of inertia. But what is for sure, and that's what matters, that the moment of inertia of this one is definitely smaller than this one. And that means omega must go up. If I make a very rough guess that the moment of inertia went down by a factor of 10, it would mean that omega would go up by a factor of 10. So, in the collapsed shape, it would, take, it would rotate 10 times faster around than in the non-collapsed phase. And that's about what you see. Kinetic energy is not conserved. Many of you assume that kinetic energy is conserved. That is not true. I have to do work on the system. I pull the string down. I have to apply a force and that force is moving so I do positive work. Rotational kinetic energy is one half I omega squared. Since I omega is constant in the two cases, the kinetic energy goes up by a factor omega when I'm here compared to there. And so, the kinetic energy will then be about 10 times higher in this situation than in that situation. Who deserves the credit for that? You got it, Walter Lewin did the work. Here is the string, here is Walter Lewin, I pull down, that's not a torque, I do the work. All right, have a nice day, take care, get your COVID-19 vaccine as soon as possible. I will try the same. Even without the vaccination soon, of course, we will be friends. That's always a given. Friends, till death, do his part. <laughs>